Hello, in this video we're going to look at the dominant firm model. So we're going to consider a market that has one dominant firm that sets the market price and then we're going to have the five smaller firms that take that price as a given acting as competitive firms. Here's the market demand for the product. The marginal cost of the dominant firm is constant at two dollars and there are five smaller firms that each have the following marginal cost. So step one, we want to drive the supply equation of the smaller firms. So the smaller firms are going to act as price takers. So a price taker will set price equal to marginal cost to maximize profit. So I'm going to take this marginal cost equation where I have MC, I'm going to replace that with P for price. And now I'm going to solve this equation for Q. and that is the competitive firm's supply equation. Give me a price and I'll tell you the profit maximizing output of the firm. To get the aggregate supply equation for all five firms, we're just gonna multiply this Q here by five, since there are five firms. We're gonna multiply this Q by five and that gives us the aggregate supply of the product by the five smaller firms. Step two, we want to find the dominant firm's demand equation. The dominant firm considers how the smaller firms respond to its price when setting its price. So the, the dominant firm's demand equation is going to be the market demand minus the supply of the smaller firms. So the market demand was given is 115 minus the price. Now we're going to subtract out the supply of the smaller firms. Simplifying, and we can solve that for price, dividing through by 6. And step 3, we're going to maximize the dominant firm's profit. We're going to get revenue first. We're going to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. We'll get revenue, which is price times quantity. So substituting in for P, the dominant firm's inverse demand, and then simplifying. Now we can take the derivative of this revenue function with respect to the dominant firm's output. And now we'll set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. The marginal cost of the dominant firm was given as 2. So we're going to solve for a quantity. And the dominant firm will maximize profit by producing 54 units. And the price, we'll plug this 54 units back into this price equation to get a profit maximizing price of $11. Uh, step four, we're going to solve for the output of the smaller firms. So the dominant firm set a price of $11. The smaller firms, five of them, will, will take this price as a given. So we're going to plug this $11 back into the market supply of the smaller firms. And the smaller firms in total will supply 50 units. So we have five firms uh, producing 50 units of output, or each of the smaller firms producing 10 units of output. Uh, note that the price is $11 in this market. The total output in this market is 104 units, 54 coming from the dominant firm and 50 coming from the five smaller firms. And we could just plug $11 back into the market demand and indeed see that the total quantity demanded in the market is 104. All right, I'll stop here. Hope you found this video helpful.